Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Panini Select Baseball 3 box random division break number 8. Big thanks to these folks for getting into the action. There are the divisions right there. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. 6 and a 4, 10 times are names and divisions. 1, 2, 3, 4, And 10th and final time, six and a four, 10 times. There we go. We got Nick down to Nick. Six and a four, 10 times with the divisions. One, two, three, four, five, six. And 10th and final time. I'll do that contender's optic break if it fills by the time I'm done with all the other breaks that are on the schedule. But hoops, no. I think that's like an hour-long break. and um, I'm actually going over a little bit already. My back's kind of killing me for some reason. It's usually not something that bothers me. Nick with the... i got to work on my core. Nick with the AL Central and the AL West. Walter with the NL East. Alec with the NL Central. Walter with the NL West. And Nick with the AL East. Sort that right there. Yeah, we got we got baseball right now. Or are you talking basketball? We can do that optic contenders. That's a quick little two box break. So there's the final printout here. Good luck, everybody. This is the final three boxes of that select case we opened up a little bit ago. So thanks, everyone, for knocking these out three at a time. Appreciate it. I don't think we have any more select baseball, but we'll try to dig up some more. This is always a cool, cool break to do. Oh, you're Gretchen. Hi, Gretchen. Um, you want a national treasure box? On it? Can you have that holding for me? Yeah. You, well, Jace, you should tell Jason. He'll, he's going to be coming back live on uh, at Jaspie's breaks. And you can let him know, and you can cover your bases um, by. Uh... Yeah. Well, you want a box of NT? That's pretty nice. Well. Where'd that come out of? But yeah, Jason's just on his dinner break right now. But he'll be back at Jaspi's breaks. I want a box of NT. Pretty nice. Alright, right, good luck everybody. Let's see what we got here. Kyle Lewis, rookie silver. Yu Chang. Shinsu Chu to 25. For the AL West, Nick Stober. And that Kyle Lewis silver, also AL West, Nick Stober. So good start. Oh, and the mystery box thing. She's local pickup too, yeah. Uh, yeah, and Jason said, yeah, her phone died, she's saying. Yeah, so in that draft, Jason basically just went with uh, just the best value, whatever your draft position was. But they'll hold that box for you. 62 out of 149, so you can pick it up. AL East, Nick Stober. And then you can do whatever you want with it, Gretchen. 11 out of 99, Bobby Bradley. You can open it if you want to. You can hold on to it if you want to and then open it. You could resell it if you want to. 
There's Lucas Giolito to 50. That's all yours. No worries. No worries. Thanks for getting in on the action. Have you been by the shop before, Gretchen? We got a, we got a pretty cool spot here, I think. There's Bobby Bradley. Relic going to the AL Central, Nick Stober. Fourteen out of ninety-nine. Josh Hader to one ninety-nine, and we've got Donnie Walton for Seattle, AL West next over. I feel like every everyone, if you're within, if you're within a, I don't know, three or four hour like driving distance to LA. You should make it make a little day trip. We're open. We're not open on Sundays, but Saturdays we're open, or if during the week, if you have time during the week, might as well come and visit us. <laughs> You're killing me, man. You ask this question every around this time. Jason's on a dinner break. Every time. If Instagram's not on at around this time, it's always a dinner break. They go, they run till around like midnight. So if they're not on, that means it's a dinner break. And they've got a few more hours to go at least. David saying, I can't wait to get back to flying. I like to visit shops on your layover. Yeah, there you go. In fact, David Rodriguez, we are extremely, we're, we are airport friendly. I think we're probably, I could pick you, oh, I don't know. Yeah, no, I could pick you up, David, sure. If it works out, I probably, I could, we could probably time it where I could uh, pick you up from LA, drive you right to the shop. I drive by LA. I drive by LAX on my way to work. As long as you're not an axe murderer, which you're probably not, I would hope. Yeah, but they, you know, you know that they go till like midnight, 3 a.m. East Coast. So whenever it's around this time, that means you know that it must be their dinner time because they go three they go to three a.m. your time. Jordan Yamamoto. Oh, you're a flight attendant. Yeah, yeah. You could be an axe murderer. I think most most axe murderers are are, are flight attendants, right? You travel a lot. Can't they're not in one location. <laughs> they're Shogo Akiyama. You can't trace them. I was I have this joke that uh, it might it's not a joke to Hunter Pence, but um, I have a joke that baseball player Hunter Pence was, was an axe murderer based on the way his batting stance is. Have you ever watched Hunter Pence for the Giants? Or the Rangers, I guess now. I think he's out of baseball now. But Sheldon Newsy, AL West, but he he waggles that bat like he's an axe murderer. And I was trying to encourage people to to track axe murders. And then the Giants' road schedule, the San Francisco Giants' road schedule, and I'll bet there will be a correlation. So if, if anybody's listening out there who's part of the uh, a federal investigative unit. All right, there's Shogo Akiyama, 19 out of 20. I'm sorry, Zeb. It's just, you ask pretty obvious questions. Multiple times. T 
Two out of 25. That's nice. A little bit of piece of the Nike swoosh. A little cracked ice action there. Jesus Lazardo's autograph. AL West mixed over. Two out of 25. Yeah, 100 pence may, may not be may not be that right up in the head, David Rodriguez. That's absolutely true. So, I don't know. Just just look up look up unsolved max acts just pull up a map of the United States. Pull up unsolved axe murders on Google. I'm sure Google has this information. Then you just put pins where all unsolved axe murders are. Then in between the times that the at 100 pence was on the Giants, you know, you just you just mark just mark that up. All right, there's Zach Gallen, autograph, NL West, Walter with the snakes. Trent Grisham, silver. And Matt Olson to 199. All right, final, third and final box, boys and girls. Thanks for getting in. Oh, yeah, so, David, we're very close. Long story short, we're, we're close to LAX. When things start... Getting back to normal for you, and you've got some time to time to spend on layovers. Definitely pop down to Jaspies for about what 20 minutes. If there's light, tra even with light traffic, we're about 20 20 minutes south of LAX. No traffic, like 15 minutes, 10 15 minutes away from LAX. We're super close, and we're open Monday through uh, Saturday. 11 p.m. to 6 p.m. Miguel Sano, 5 out of 20. Nice tie-dye for the AL Central next over. Yeah, our shop is, is very clean. There's Jordan Yamamoto. Autograph this time. There's a relic and an autograph. NL East, Walter. Yeah, we got a 3,000 square foot shop, and we're pretty committed to being a, a more modern card shop right so we got a lot of a lot of like nice boxes and and single cards underneath like well-lit jewelry case type things big showcases that display a lot of stuff you know i mean we're also in sort of a sort of a rich kind of part of town you know we're just south of manhattan beach and i, don't know, and I think we like it like that too you know, I've, I think all of us have been to the old dusty card shop. And there's a charm to that, you know, but they're, the old cluttered, dusty card shop. But I think we'd like to think that we're a representation of a kind of different generation of card shop. But that still retains that kind of knowledge and charm from those guys, you know. But just a different vibe. Listen, and... We're also talking about cards and boxes that that are hundreds and thousands of dollars. You know what I mean? So, so I think they should be treated with with, with uh, that kind of that kind of respect. There's a Louis Robert relic for Nick in the AL Central. It's got to have a similar kind of reverence for the the products that we're trying to sell. How how good is the customer going to feel when you're about to buy a five hundred dollar box and you know, it's being pulled out of a dusty, dusty showcase or something like that. There's Andres Munoz to 35. 
Oh, now we would. I would love to have skee ball here. I could. I could try to convince him to put a skee ball machine here. But yeah, you know, it's like it's like. It's like Dave and Buster is different from like the old family fun center, right? Dave and Buster, you know, all the arcade games aren't like sticky with soda on them and everything. So what training do we don't receive any training? We just, I think we just use our, I don't know, our love and knowledge of sports and sports cards. And that's enough. There is a little bit of training for like, I guess if you want to go on air, just how to work all the technology is. A different sort of thing but all right that's it three box random division number eight in the books 2020 panini select baseball thanks for watching thanks for breaking with us we'll see you next time for the next one bye, -bye.